Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make Haymaker's Punch, also known as Switchel. So this drink, Haymaker's Punch or Switchel, it's uh, officially known as Switchel, but we in the homestead community like to call it Haymaker's Punch. It's an old time drink from way back in the 1800s, early 1900s. This is the original sports drink for farmers when they were working out in the fields, long hard days. This is what they drank. I love this drink. I can drink a gallon of it easily. So people have made lots of videos showing you how to make this drink on YouTube, but I had some friends come over the other day, never heard of it before, never tried it before. I let them have some and they loved it. So for my viewers, I'm just going to put it up and show you how to make it. There are lots of variations, lots of different ways to make this. I'm just going to show you the basics here. We'll talk a little bit about the how you can change it up at the end of the video. But what I love about this drink is it is completely healthy. There's no preservatives, no additives, no chemicals, no nothing. It's all natural. And actually, my plan is to get to where I can make everything from what's on my property. Um, I had to buy this stuff at the store, but it's just got a few simple ingredients. Water. And for you city slickers out there, you don't want to use tap water with chlorine in it. It's just going to mess up the taste. And my health tip of the day is don't use fluorinated water either. But out here in the country, we're on well water. It's clean, tasteless. So if you're in town, get filtered water and use that. So water is your main ingredient. You'll need a lemon. I've got it cut in half because I'm going to juice it in there. You'll need a thumb size sliver or a little bit bigger of ginger root. I have went ahead and peeled the skin off this in advance. You'll need your apple cider vinegar. Get the one with mother in it. You'll need that. And also honey. So if you've been following my channel at all, you know that I just recently got bees, so I'll be able to provide myself honey. I've got two Meyer lemon trees. I'll be able to provide myself lemons. I have yet to plant a garden with ginger, but this is definitely on the list. And you can also make apple cider vinegar if you have enough apples. Um, I don't know how to make it. I never have, but I do have apple trees for a future. So hopefully in the future, I'll be able to get all this off my property, be 100% organic and healthy. But let's get right to making this uh, juice, Haymaker's Punch, a.k.a. Switchel. So first off, I want to get this lemon in here. I'm just going to go ahead and juice this lemon right in there with my citrus juicer. Oh, yeah. Now, the great thing about this drink is, is you can make it to taste. So if it's too lemony, only put half a lemon in it's not lemony enough, add another lemon. If there's too much ginger, too little, you know, take some out or add more the next time or put less in the next time. So, so this is a, if I forgot to mention, this is a half gallon container. One lemon. I'm going to go ahead and chop up this. Now, when it comes to this, I've seen people grate it up really small so it really gets the taste in there, but I don't like that in my, I like to be able to pick out the larger chunks. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut some slivers off this and drop it in there. Actually, let me do it here. It's a lot easier. Yeah, this is... I saw this on another setters YouTube channel and we immediately made it and I've fallen in love with it and I can drink gallons of this stuff so go ahead and put that ginger root in there perfect so apple cider vinegar takes about one third of a cup for half a gallon so I usually don't measure anything but just for this video's sake I'm gonna go ahead and measure one third of a cup in here About right there. Put that in there. All right. 
So we got our lemons, our ginger, apple cider vinegar, and then honey. So for me, I have an addiction to white sugar, which is completely bad for me, which I need to get away from. So I like my Haymakers Punch heavy on the honey. This is a great replacement for sugar. You can also use, instead of honey, you can use um, maple syrup. Both are natural, both are good, and a lot better for you than processed white death sugar. So I like to go ahead and put like about a half a cup in mine. Um, you may want less, you may want more, just depends. Oh, I made a little mess. My bad. That's gonna make the lid all sticky. All right, that is pretty much all the ingredients. Put your lid on there. Batten down the hatches. All right, there we go. And there you have it. Put it in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours and drink it up. It's going to be great. So I wanted to just touch on the some ways you can spice it up a little bit. I like mine just basic like this, but you can use an orange instead of a lemon. You can zest a lemon in there, zest an orange in there. You can add fruits like raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, things like that to, to your um, Haymakers Punch. Um, I did mention you could use maple syrup instead. I've never tried it that way. Um, the honey is pretty good, much going to be my go-to since I have the beehive. And also, if you want to add a little, little fizz to it, you can let it sit out for two days. And it'll just start to ferment and get a little bit fizzy, kind of close to... Um, kombucha kind of like taste but you can leave it out for a couple days get a little fizz in it or you can just add some sparkling water flavored water to it but I don't like to do any of that stuff because I just want to keep it basic natural and healthy for me so I'm gonna go ahead and put up a list of just a few of the health benefits of this stuff I mean just the lemons the ginger the honey the apple cider vinegar there is a ton of health benefits from every one of these items and it's full of electrolytes so Anyways, give it a shot. Let me know in the comments if you've had this before, you're making it or you haven't. You, you make it and you try it and you like it. Let me know. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy the Haymakers Punch or Switchel. And yeah, thanks for watching.